Masterclass participants could choose between four songs. They could choose the key and basically perform it any way they wished with a professional band. They had no rehearsal with the band. Even the BGVs, the background singers, are winging it. The purpose of this exercise is to learn how to immediately gain the band's trust, convey clear intentions, and give the audience a memorable and fulfilling musical experience. Now, go ahead and see if we can get a performance out of it. And we might start to stop. Alright, and uh, keep in mind, if something doesn't go well, we're going to 10,000 people. Don't show it, right? So this is performance time. Show me what you can do.
build, slow build, slow build, slow build. You know what I mean? So show us an ending. Ah, oh, sorry, my bad. Show us an ending. Okay. Cool. So if I'm doing this, <laughs> he doesn't know where to cut off, right? All right, give me a trash can ending. Just give me a big ending, band. Give me that big chord at the end, and. Right? I gave him a predatory beat and off. I can't go. <laughs> they don't know what to do. All right, watch it again. Ready, go.
Uh, it was a more of an unexpected place where you cut them off, so yeah. if you let them a little heads up, yeah. they could have been more creative with it if you let them know. That's all. Now, this is a problem for her. Does anyone have hair tie? We have hair tie. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have hair tie. No, no, I, I love you banging your hair, but once in a while, can you bang hair for us a little bit? Because you do a little bit, but I say commit to it. Really commit to it. And okay. once in a while, I want to see you get that out of your face and give it to us. Because you still have this wall up going here. And once in a while, can you get up into the audience, put a foot on the monitor, and sing into the room? Okay. Hard. Every chance, gotta wait a leg. It's going to feel so real, and I think you will really like how it feels, too. Right. Now, the whole ending, you cut your audience out of the picture, so they didn't get to enjoy the moment with you. I know you're kind of worried about this here. Yeah. Concentrate on this, but I want you to do the ending. And actually, let's go from the from the bridge. And I want you to hear the one of these the modest. Do you know that verse? Yeah, yeah. Chain is gonna break. Okay.
not there because I think you're moving too much. If I want to, I want to see if we can get her just so, right? Just that, because that's a lot sexier. Just stand, <laughs> deliver the line, and then you can go back to your groove because you groove very well. I mean, you're hot. You, you look good doing it, no problem. But if you'll bring it down, okay, who else is singing this song? Who else wants to mess with this song? Okay, then we're gonna play with you for a minute. Last verse, one more time. Give them a one, two, and then we're gonna do some a little telepathy with the band. Go for it. Thank you. 
them apart. I just made something up in my head. I thought, this looks kind of cool. And I gave them two parts. They filled in the third one because I didn't need to. Or I could have probably just given them one. And they could do something with it. And we just create a moment. Right? So a song everybody knows, Chain of Fools. Now this is what I'm talking about. If you choose to do this in your show, your recital, you sing the song straight through, nothing happens. That was a great song. Congratulations, you didn't do anything. <laughs> Maybe you hit a really high note. Woo! Nobody can hit high notes. You know, whatever. <laughs> There's too many people that can do that. So this is all about control. All right, give Kylie a hand. Yay! Yay! What you mean, and it's again, it's the confidence. Um, give us the trash. Oh, no, trash can. We're all going crazy. All right, give me a big hand. Go for it. Come sing. 